plastics are everywhere. And I mean, everywhere. Picture this, humans churn out a whopping 380 million tons of plastics every single year. From your morning coffee cup to the device you're watching this on, plastics have infiltrated every industry. But here's the kicker. About half of all these plastics are just for single use. That's right, 50% of the plastics we produce are destined to be discarded right after their first use. By 2018, our landfills were burdened with 27 million tons of plastic. And in 2010, a staggering 8 million metric tons of plastic found its way into our oceans. Imagine 90 massive aircraft carriers. That's the weight we're talking about. That is why today we are going to be discussing the plastic invasion. What is plastic? What are the health impacts? And how can we protect our body? Let's get started. Enter microplastics. These minuscule plastic particles are so pervasive, they've even sneaked into our water and food. Believe it or not, we might be consuming the equivalent of a credit card's worth of plastic every week. And it doesn't stop there. We're even breathing in plastics. For example, those comfy synthetic clothes and plush home furniture. They're releasing plastic fibers into the air we breathe. It's clear, plastics are an inescapable part of our lives. But before you get too disheartened, there's hope. We can pivot towards reducing plastic use, delve into functional medicine to grasp its health impacts and adopt lifestyle changes to purge plastics from our systems. So what exactly is plastic? At its core, plastics are synthetic polymers. They originate from natural materials like cellulose and crude oil. Through intricate chemical processes, these materials are transformed into the versatile plastics we know. But unlike nature's creations, plastics don't just decompose. They fragment into tinier pieces, and when they're smaller than five millimeters, they're dubbed microplastics. These tiny invaders are in our water, our food, and even inside us, potentially wreaking havoc on our health. The first entirely synthetic plastic was birthed in 1907 by Leo Bakelin and named Bakelite. Its adaptability led to a 300% surge in plastic production during World War II. Plastics were revolutionizing industries and replacing traditional materials due to their cost effectiveness. From cars to packaging to furniture, plastics were the new norm. But by the 1960s, the alarm bells began ringing. The 1980s saw the dawn of recycling, yet the majority of plastics still ended up where we didn't want them. And the ultimate testament to our plastic predicament, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, a swirling mass of plastic waste as vast as Texas, floating in the Pacific Ocean. It's time for change. Together, let's reshape both our plastic-filled world and our health. As we dive deeper into the world of plastics, it's crucial to understand the chemicals lurking within them. Heavy metals like chromium and lead are found in almost all plastics. These metals aren't just heavy. They're heavy-duty carcinogens. Flame retardants, especially polybrominated diphenyl ethers, are in children's products and electronics. But their effects, they're linked to IQ drops, cancer, and fertility issues. Phthalates, the flexibility agents in plastics, have a rigid list of health concerns. Reproductive disorders, asthma, and even ADHD. Bisphenols with BPA, taking the limelight, are everywhere, from food packaging to water bottles. Their health wrap sheet, it includes breast cancer, infertility, and neurological disorders. Ever heard of PFAS? These chemicals often play a sinister role as endocrine disruptors, meddling with our hormones and linked to health problems like cancer and immune response reduction. But how do we know our exposure levels? Enter functional medicine labs. They can detect our chemical exposures and even gauge our detox capabilities. For example, if you want to detect heavy metals leaching from plastics, you can use hair elements tests to catch them. Hair elements tests offer results far more concentrated than blood tests. The urine metal excretion test is a urine super hero analyzing 173 non-metal toxins, including those pesky phthalates. And don't forget the hepatic function panel. It's key to checking the health of our primary detox organ, the liver. But here's the million dollar question. How do we shield ourselves from these plastic health threats? First, air filters can cut down the microplastics we inhale. Then water purifiers can cleanse our drinking water of these tiny invaders. Household changes can make a difference too. Swap plastic containers for glass, choose bar soap over body wash, and embrace reusable grocery bags. Did you know? Our body mainly detoxifies plastics through glucuronidation, a liver process. Calcium deglucrate found in fruits and vegetables can boost this process. A diet loaded with whole foods, cruciferous vegetables, berries, and turmeric is a detox powerhouse. And here's a sweaty fact, phthalates detoxify best through sweat. So besides hitting the gym, consider relaxing in saunas to sweat out those toxins. In this plastic, 
dominated world, knowledge is power. Let's use it to detoxify, protect, and thrive. We take a long time to put these videos together to make sure everything we state is backed by a research study. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.